the meditation, uh, what I'd like to do is just uh, move into this place of uh, release because we have the control, which is holding tight to something. And then the opposite of control is, is surrender. And so I, what I want to do is just guide each of us to something that we're, we're holding fast to. Because we find like also in life, like, oh my God, this thing has a grip on me or this person or this situation or this conflict has a grip on me. But anything that we perceive has a hold on us, we're actually holding tight to. And so I want to guide us to visualize a situation or a person or a circumstance that we're holding fast to and then this idea of, of the release of that, the surrender and the release and, and the contrast in those feelings. Start with the singing bowl. Think of it as a, a invitation, like use the sound to carry you into this deeper, quiet state of being, timeless state where you can connect with your higher self. Let's focus on the breath. And allow it to create a sense of ease within your being. Let each inhale gather the tension or stress or tightness in your body, wherever it lives, in your belly or in your head, in your heart, in your limbs. And with each exhale, just invite a sense of ease easiness life can be easy when we find things difficult or experience what we call difficulties we are complicating our state of ease with what's difficult. That's why we call them difficulties. But ease is our ground state. Babies are easy. Children are easy. 
it's adulting that becomes difficult. So just a few more breaths in the round, inviting this ease. Feel your body relax. Your shoulders release tension. Breathe through any tension in your brow. And a pressure in your head or on your lungs to just release an expansion. And from this easy place, and quietude and grace. Let's take a journey to an aspect of our lives that emerges for us or triggers us, or arises, or reappears. Today, or each week, or each cycle in a relationship, Some kind of element could be a pattern or a strong emotion or a behavior that we react to. Where we feel this pattern Our way of being has a grip on us. Our response is involuntary, automatic, unconscious. We just immediately feel an emotion rise within us as if someone hit a button on a remote control and switch the channel. And whatever we were feeling before is gone and it's replaced by this very powerful, undesired emotion. Who or what pushed your button? Who or what has its finger on your trigger? Picture that person or circumstance or event or words in your mind's eye. Really visualize it in its fullness. What's the expression 
on the person's face as they do or say the thing that triggers you. What do they feel like? How does it feel within you? What must the expression be on your own face? If you were to look in the mirror and see your reaction. Where do you feel it? Be with the discomfort of it. Feel it in its totality. Because we're going to shift it. In order for us to reveal, I'm sorry, in order for us to heal, to shift, to transform, to transmute, it must first be revealed. And so this revelation of this trigger or pattern is rising to the surface of our awareness so we can heal it. And what is healing? If not allowing the energy to move, to circulate, to dissipate, to expire, and wear itself out, and drain from our being. So let's take this person or circumstance and turn it into something that we can grip whether it's the rungs on a ladder that we're clinging to as if our life depended on it. Or it's a person that we're clinging to, crushing to our chest, holding on to so desperately that we don't want to lose them don't want to allow them to move or escape or leave. Or perhaps it's like a stone in our palm and we're clinging to it, gripping it with all of our might all the strength in our hand and in our arm, the whole side of our body is clenched to prevent this object from falling away from us. Try to allow yourself to clench this object or person or situation with all of your might. And now with that same easing of breath, that we practiced at the beginning. 
Let's release this subject of our grip, of our clenching, of our desperate embrace, of our death grip. And just open your palms, open your arms, fully and completely allow your hands to open, your arms to open, stretch them outward as if stretching into the light of the sun. And just expand. And as you let go, perhaps you fall or float away from this ledge you're clinging to, or the ladder you're holding on to, or the person you are clutching to your chest, or the stone or object you are so desperately holding in your hand. In your mind's eye, allow it to fall away or rise past or allow the person to feel their freedom, see the change of expression on their face as they realize you're no longer clinging to that which was so important at the time. And you're granting freedom, freedom to this situation, freedom to this person, freedom to this object, See the transformation in whatever you were clutching and feel the reflected change in yourself. Now that you've released your grip, it's an opening a shift, a grant of freedom to yourself. The situation or person no longer has a grip on you because you've released your grip on it. You feel lighter. And freer. And now you're open to new possibilities. You now have a free hand or free arms or open space within yourself to receive something new. To invite 
someone or something that holds the potential of new opportunity, new experience, new feeling, transformation, growth, evolution. In releasing our grip on that which we feel bound to, we grant ourselves the freedom and possibility that we grant to another. And by offering gratitude to this person or circumstance or situation that's arisen, we're blessing it. And in that blessing, we're receiving the blessing ourselves. It's a reciprocal gift. A release of light and love. Feel if you have a greater lightness of being. Check in with your breath. Can you feel that you're breathing easier? Lighter? fuller, deeper. Is the tension you were feeling earlier alleviated even a little? As you keep breathing, set the intention that each breath will bring a levity, almost like helium, into your system. And whatever weighted steps you have, You'll be stepping more lightly throughout your day. Maybe the heavy steps will become more bouncy. More happy. Almost like Moonwalking, where the gravity becomes lighter and you can float through your day, knowing if you're feeling the weight of something 
with a heavy gravity. You can breathe in and on the exhale, start to moonwalk. <laughs> 